When you're loading your slides into both ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer, yes, we're using ProShow Producer here, but you can easily follow along with this video using ProShow Gold. It can be a little bit difficult, particularly if you've got several different types of slides. For example, I've got some mill scenes here. I've also got some beach scenes. So trying to load them in and get them in the right order can be a little bit difficult, particularly with a small sort of uh, well, file list as I've got there, yes, I can make them bigger, that may help, but if you've got a large number of slides, it can be difficult. However, there is a panel, there is an element in both ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer that can make life a lot easier, and it can do a lot more. Right, I'm going to click on the first slide, I'm going to use Control A, we have now selected all of the slides. I'm going to click, I'm going to place it into the first slide position, don't worry, there's only 19, so it's not going to take that long, and through it goes. Now we all know that we can click on a slide and we can move it around by using the arrow bracket key. For example, the right arrow bracket key is going to move it to the right, the left is going to move it back to the left again. But if we come up to Window, we can drop down to Show, we're going to come across to Lightbox. Using the Lightbox, which is going to dock itself immediately behind this menu in the preview screen, through it comes there, life becomes even easier again. OK, you can scroll through, you can see all of your slides. You can also come up to the title bar here where it says Lightbox, click down, you'll notice you now get a dotted line. We can lift it out, but be careful, it has a tendency to want to dock in positions that you never thought were possible. Lifting this up into this area here, we're going to come just onto the menu bar, releasing it, coming down to the bottom corner. You can make this light box as big or as small as you want. So it's a great way of working. If you've got loads of different slides, you're going to get a scroll bar there as well. So don't worry if you've got more slides. I'm going to lift this up just so we can see the slide list underneath as well. Right, for repositioning the slides, let's just take a quick look at that because we'll be going through all the various options and the various bits and pieces that we can do use in the light box. I'm going to click on slide number 9. I'm going to move this alongside slide number 15. Yes, you could use those arrow bracket keys and nudge it to the right, but you can also click on it and you can drag it across, positioning it wherever you want. I'm going to put it here between 14 and 15, releasing the mouse, in it goes. Let's do that again. I'm going to click on slide 16. We're going to lift this up and I'm going to put it in this position here, releasing the mouse. In it goes. But you can also do it with multiple slides. For example, we're going to go to slide number one. I'm going to press control, clicking on two, clicking on three, and just as an example, clicking on six. So they don't even have to be together. I'm going to click on this. I've just released control, by the way. I'm going to come down. I'm going to put it alongside slide number 14. In they go. Great stuff. Right, let's click back on this one. Let's reposition that into that area there. And just looking at them, I've noticed these slides, which are a little bit out of position. So just going to grab hold of those and move them to the side. In they go. Right, so what else can we do? Well, let's just click on the first slide. We're going to come up to this icon here. This is to customize your and configure the show options. So clicking on this. Yes, we can now come in and we can even give our show a name. For example, we can put on my show. So you can give your show a new name. You can choose the aspect ratio, the 16 by 9 or the 4 by 3. And you can drop down and you can click and you can choose a thumbnail for your show. You can also, in ProShow Producer, add a watermark. You can also come in in both ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer and change the background. We've got a solid color here of black. You may also in ProShow Producer want to go for a gradient and you can of course put a background image in as well if you want to. For this example though, let's just change the background color to white. You'll notice it changing in the thumbnails behind us. Clicking on set color and there it is. You can also add a soundtrack, for example, where it says soundtrack here. Click on plus, coming through, add sound file. We're going to come through, just navigate your way to where you've got your sound files. I'm going to click on this one just as an example, clicking on it, waiting for it for a few seconds. It's loaded. We're going to click OK to that. In goes our sound file. But there's more again. 
we can come to the next little icon this customize option for selected slide okay we've got a slide selected it was the first one and there it is we've got the slide captions we can add a caption to it we can add effects to it we can come through there's all the various effects we can add we can also come through we can add slide styles now with slide styles I've got a single slide here you can see we've got a single layer we can come through I'm under essentials I mean may want to go for this one there it is you can see an example coming through there that looks pretty good I'm going to click on apply it's saying are you sure I'm going to click OK through that goes clicking OK again and just taking a look yes it's now put in a slide style in slide number one now you'll notice all the slide timings are defaults all the transitions are also the default but you can change these click on the transition that's now going to open our transition dialog box as we can see here and coming through let's go for the 3d motion clicking on this one if I click down you can see we get an example showing us in the top left hand corner that looks pretty good I'm just going to click apply for the slide timings and for the transition timing just click in the box let's make this one a bit faster let's go for 2.5 seconds and if I click in the window here let's make this a bit longer let's go for four seconds and clicking down right what else have we got well coming and looking through you'll notice the way that we've got sort of uh, beach scenes and then we got these mill scenes here the next little icon along if I click on the first of the mill scenes slide 11 here if I come up this is to insert a new blank slide now don't forget this is going to take on the default that we've just set which is that white clicking down in it goes and this will just give a, a little bit of a break between the beach scenes and the mill scenes here so all we want to do with this is just put in a second time in for that particular one I'm going to put in zero on this particular slide and we're going to put this at about two seconds there so it just gives a little bit of a break so you can put in blank slides something else you might like to do clicking on the first slide is come up and you can add a new title slide clicking on this brings up our slide options again the slide options set the caption and we can come through and we can just come in and uh, this this is a title right and just moving it out into position like this something like that would be pretty good there it is and we've now got our fonts we've got our sort of caption sizes we can make this as big or as small as we want by just adjusting this you've got the colors here you can also come in you've got all the effects that you can add to it as well there's a huge amount in pro show gold you've also got the fly in fly out you've got all of those as well so it really is it's a great way of working clicking on ok to this right let's come and take a look at something else that you may like to try with this you'll notice we've got these three slides here they're all roughly the same taken of the the same subject what if you want to apply one slide style to these all you need to do is just double click we've now double clicked that's brought it through to the slide options there it is there we've got our layer there's our single layer but if we come up we've got the little plus symbol we can come through we can add image looking at this now just taking a look there's the first one we've got which is this one here so if I click on this one I can click on open and if I come and if I do repeat the process if I click on this and if I come to add image or video and click on that one we've now got the three of them loaded there they are don't forget you can easily change the position by just using the up or the down arrow now we can come back to the slide style now looking at this just scrolling through until we find one with where we've got the uh, three oh hang on let's go to the basic montage that would be better wouldn't it yeah taking a look we can now come in and we can see there it is using the three slides and you can do the one with the light background that would be better like that clicking on apply slide style and we're going to click OK to that and OK through it goes and there it is so we've now applied this we're going to take the timing up let's put this as nine seconds we've now got the additional slides here but what you can do is if you highlight them both so I'm just going to use control clicking on both of these coming up we can click on this little button here which is going to delete the slides there they are they've gone but we've got all three slides on this one slide style we have also got if I click on the end slide we can cut so we've now cut that slide we can paste it in in any position using the paste the icon here or control V we can also come in we can copy this slide so I'm going to use control C we can come across we can place it into this position here I'm going to use control V and we can paste it in or we could come back to this one and just click 
delete. So it is a great way of just going through your slideshow. There's just so much you can do. Being on the larger screen, it can really help you as well. It can help sort of get in and see exactly how things are looking. Once you finish, just click on the little cross there you'll notice all the various bits and pieces now this is where you can come in you can get in with the timeline you can make adjustments for the soundtrack and everything else but uh, go on give that light box a try it really is it's a great way of working but until the next time it's happy imaging and take care